Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to install printer drivers. In order to install printer driver, we must have driver CD or we should download it from its official website. Now I will show you how to download the printer driver from its official website. I have Epson EcoTank printer. Now I am going to download its driver, just click on it. Here I can see that Google Chrome gives different links. Select the first link. In Epson website, I can see that they have given the drivers for scanner, drivers for universal printer and the installation guide. Now I am going to download this printer driver. In order to download, just click on download and click on accept and here I can see that the software is getting downloaded to my computer. Here I have downloaded printer driver. In order to install it, we must extract this zip folder. Just click on extract. Once this is unzipped, open this folder. Here I can see that I have printer driver for Epson for 64 bit as well as for 86. I am going to select for 64. Just right click on it and click on open. And click on yes. Here I can see that this software or this driver software is getting installed on my laptop or my computer. Click on OK. Select the language as English and click on OK. Here we have to agree. Hence click on the agreement that is click on agree. Click on OK. Now the printer driver will be installed on our computer or our laptop. During the installation, the software asks us to configure our printer, whether the printer is in connected on network or it is connected separately to our PC or laptop. Now I will select the USB connection since it is connected to my computer or my laptop. Just select connect them. Just select on USB connection. If the printer is connected on the network, then we have to select the network connection option. Click on OK. If the printer is connected to computer, then automatically it selects the port. If not, we have to configure it manually. Click on manual. Here I can select the different port. For the sake of convenience, I will select the COM port 1 and click on OK. Here I can see that the printer driver installation and port configuration is completed successfully. Click on OK. Now in order to set the installed printer as a default printer, just go to search button and type here printer and scanners. Here I can see that printer and scanner option, click on it. Here I can see that the different installed printer. Currently, I have installed the Epson Universal Printer. In order to set this printer as a default printer, just click on it and go to Manage and click as Default. Here I can see that this printer is set as default. Go back, here I can see that this printer is set as default. In this way, we download the drivers and configure our printer 